That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also leave enough space so that she can slow down and comfortably stop. Hey, excuse me. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. I uh, love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. This is good because you've given her a nice compliment, it's direct, it's made her smile and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice confident way to start in the street. So what's your plans for today? I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? Feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or s squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. Yes. That mm. sounds fun, actually. I never thought of that. But buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try it sometime. Okay. And what are you doing today? Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there. And then I'm going to meet some friends, but I've got like 40 minutes. And that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly. So that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. In the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation so that she has a chance to relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and where she's going. So that's the right one. We might hire some bikes and go riding around the park. There's like a nice spot where they rent out bikes and it's on the lake. And yeah, whatever. but you, so. you ride bikes in there? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the, the suit on. Okay. I'm sitting really up, up straight. That's very no, fancy I'm, for bikes. I, I will change. I will okay. change yeah. And tell me, what do you do? Because you, you look a bit artistic. <laughs> um, well, I actually work in non-profit. Non-profit? Charity, yeah. Ah, uh, I like making profit, so that's... What no, do I'm you joking, do? I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking. I work in IT, but... Okay. No, that's cool. So you're not so focused on money, you like doing good things. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks. I'm focused on uh, money. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Because IT can be creative too, so... Sure, yeah. yeah. Asking what someone does is that kind of usual question that we always ask, but in this case, you want to make a guess, make an assumption. It makes it a little bit more interesting. And if you choose something to do with fashion or art, it's always a compliment for a woman because it kind of says that she has style. What's your name? Alexa? No way, you're joking. No. That's my name too. I'm oh. Alexa too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. No, I'm joking. My name's Richard. Ah. Uh, but it's well, still good to meet you. You too. This is a funny take on it. So of course you need to get her name. And in this case, you know, you followed up the very common boring question with a little bit of a joke. Of course, it's important that you can uh, pull it off, you know, say it in a cheeky way. And it's another thing where it's guaranteed to get a laugh. And it's a question that you always need to ask. So it's a great one. Go out and try it. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm, I actually don't have a lot of free time. I work, oh, a, I work a lot. So when I'm not working, I like to be outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I try to be outdoors as much as possible. I actually bike where you mentioned. Okay. Um, yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff? <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. Not couch potato? Well, every now and then, but in general, no. More active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like, come to this. And I always say yes. Okay. But given the choice, I often just chill at home. That's I like fair. chilling. Have you ever tried climbing? 
you know, like on these walls. <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times, but it's really fun. Very good exercise and just really cool. So you should definitely try it. Yeah, I would like to. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about something and a good choice is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Okay, so you said you like biking and rock climbing. Yeah. Um, any other like outdoor activities? Yeah, loads of stuff. Yeah. Um, racket sports. Like tennis? Um, yeah, tennis and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> it's the English thing. I don't know I about mean, most it, sports no. were invented in England, obviously, but I think they play it everywhere. It's, um, it's like when you're, you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back and you okay. can hit the ball like anywhere. And it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running and... Yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. kind of dangerous, but fun. Oh, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> the ball is only um, like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely happens. Hmm. You and should try it. I might sometime. Uh, you said you work in IT? Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in. There's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day. And um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If, it's, if you do like your job, even if you think other people are not interested, speak passionately about it and you can get them to buy in, feel at least the emotion, even if they don't understand it that well. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. Worry about how you tell others about it and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So do you always stop girls in the street? No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm -hmm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice because actually it's honest and it's disarmingly honest. So it's going to take her back a little bit, but it's going to also show that you're telling tr the truth, that she can trust you and show that you're confident enough to, to say that instead of making up some rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Listen, I've got a few minutes right now, so do you want to just grab a coffee? What do you say? Yeah, okay. Great. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. The very best result in the daytime is to go for the instant date. So that's correct. Well done. Uh, if you just leave and get the number, you know, that's okay. But it's much better if you can say, listen, I've got time now. Why don't we do something quickly? Notice that it's just a quick thing. So it's quite easy to say yes to.